Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. There are two common ways to do this. The first way is to directly use the media creation tool from Microsoft, in which case all you would need is a USB stick, 8 gig or larger, and an internet connection. The faster the better. The second way is to use a third-party application to create your Windows 10 bootable USB. In that case, you will need a Windows 10 ISO file, which you can download for free. I will show you how to do that in a moment a USB stick and of course a third-party application. There are several third-party applications out there you can choose from. Here I'll be using Rufus. I find it quite easy to use. It has great reviews and of course it's free. Before we proceed, if you are yet to subscribe, take a second and hit the subscribe button so as to keep up with future tech support videos like this one. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so for the first method, I'll be using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. You can get that directly from Microsoft website. Simply go to Google and search, download Windows 10. Click on the first result from Microsoft. I'll leave a direct link to this download page in the video description. On this page, click on Download Tool Now. And the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool will download shortly. It's just about 18 megabytes in size, so it should download pretty fast. After the download, run the tool by double-clicking. Accept the license terms. Now here the default option is to upgrade this PC now, but you want to select Create Installation Media for another PC. But first, insert your USB flash stick. Before you do that, you should ensure you back up the files on your USB stick because the media creation tool will automatically delete the files on your USB during the creation process. As you can see, I have no files on my USB stick, so I'm good to go. Here I will select Create Installation Media for another PC and click on Next. On this page, you are to select the language, architecture, and the edition of Windows 10 you wish to have. By default, I have English US as the language, Windows 10 edition, and then 64-bit architecture as the recommended options. Now you want to change these configurations to match your PC specifications. So first, uncheck Use Recommended Options for this PC. Now only then will you be able to change the default settings. For the language, I will leave mine as English US. Edition, of course, is Windows 10. Then on the architecture, there are three options, 32-bit, 64-bit, and both. If you already know the architecture of the PC you want to install your Windows 10 on, then you can select it here. But if you don't, or if you have multiple PCs you wish to install Windows 10 with both 32-bit and 64-bit options, then your best bet is to select the both option. That way you will need to create multiple installation media. However, this will require more space on the USB, somewhere around eight gigabyte or so. So if you want to run with the both option, then it's better to use at least a 16 gig USB to avoid any errors. However, if you want to go with only the 32 bit or 64 bit option, then an 8 gig USB stick should be enough. Here I'm using this 32 gig Kingston USB 3.0. And yes, if you can get a USB 3.0, it could save you a bit of time during the disk creation process and also when you use it to install Windows on another computer compared to the USB 2.0. So here I will select both for the architecture and hit next to proceed with the process. On this page, it gives me the option of either using a USB flash drive or creating an ISO file which will later be burned to a DVD. So I will leave it as USB flash drive and hit next. Then select the USB flash drive you want to use. You can easily go back to your computer folder to confirm the volume level of the USB drive to ensure you select the right drive. Then hit next to start the download and media creation process. Now this stage will take a while depending on the speed of your internet connection, the processing power of your computer and also the speed of your USB stick. Some USB sticks are faster than others, especially when you compare the 2.0 to 3.0. If you have the 3.0, do use it. 2.0 will also work fine, but it might take a little more time during the disk creation process and also when you install Windows on another computer. In any case, this process will take a while, 15 to 20 minutes on average. Yours could take more or less time depending on the factors I just mentioned. Moreover, you can keep working on your laptop during this process, so I'm going to fast forward this part of the video.
Now we've successfully completed the media creation process for Windows 10 installation. You should have this page saying your USB flash drive is ready. You can also go to your computer folder to verify that your USB now has the installation files and is configured as bootable. It should look something like this. So now we are ready to install Windows 10 offline using this USB flash drive. The second method is to use a third-party application to create your Windows 10 bootable USB. Here I'll be using Rufus, but before downloading and running Rufus, you need to have your Windows 10 ISO file saved somewhere on your computer. If you are yet to download a Windows 10 ISO file, the procedure is pretty similar to the first method we just saw. So from Microsoft page, you download the media creation tool, run the tool by double-clicking, accept the license terms. Here select create installation media for another PC, and then click on next. On this page, select the language, architecture, and edition of Windows you wish to have and hit Next. On the page that follows, it gives you the option of either using a USB flash drive or creating an ISO file which you will later bend to a DVD. So here simply select the ISO file option and hit Next. Then select the location where you want to save your ISO file and hit Save. I'll keep mine on the desktop. Now wait for the download and media creation process to complete. Again, I will fast forward this part of the video. Afterwards, you should see a page like this showing the location where your ISO file was saved. And if you go to that location, you should find a file like this called windows.iso. So now that we have the ISO file, I will go ahead and download Rufus. For that, simply go to Google and search Rufus. And click on the first result from rufus.ie. It should bring you to this download page. I will leave a direct link to this page down in the video description. Here scroll down to where it says download and click on the last updated version. Now it's version 3.4, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be a different version. So I'll click on it. It's just about 1 MB. Now after downloading, insert your USB stick and then double click on the Rufus installation file to run it. Hit yes on the user account control. You should have an interface like this. Here first select the USB device you want to use in case you have multiple USB devices attached. Then on the boot selection field, use the drop down to select disk or ISO image. Then click on this select button to the right and locate the ISO file you have saved. Mine is on the desktop, so I will select that. And here you need to select a partition scheme for the disk where you intend to install your Windows. The two options here are MBR and GPT. GPT is the newer scheme meant to replace MBR with some improved features. Now if you intend to use this USB to install Windows on a formatted laptop or PC with no disk partitions, then you should select the GPT option. During the installation, it will automatically convert your disk to GPT. However, if you want to use the USB to upgrade from a previous version of Windows, then you may want to check the partition format of the disk. For Windows 10, simply go to your search and type disk partition. Then click on create and format disk partition. Now right click on disk 0 where you intend to install your windows and select properties. Here click on the volumes tab and then you should see the partition style of your disk. Here mine is GPT. So with GPT selected here, click on start. It then informs you that all data on the USB stick will be deleted during the process. Now ensure you've backed up all the files on the USB stick, then hit OK and wait for the process to complete. Now when completed, it should say ready here and then you can close Rufus and eject your USB flash drive. And with that, you have a Windows 10 bootable USB drive ready to install Windows 10 on other computers. 
And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.